understanding the artistic output of the various traditions of uh, Tibetan Buddhism and the Bun religion can be quite uh, daunting. All of the schools are, are, are a little different in, in their approach to art in terms of what they focus on, where they concentrate their <clears throat> energy, both for sculpture and painting. Now, for the Nyingma tradition, for the Nyingma tradition, we have uh, principal iconographic subjects, um, and and they're actually not that many. We can we can think of it as as uh, really two or three uh, main kind of categories. Now, the first main category for for Nyingma art has to always start with Padmasambhava. So, depictions of Padmasambhava are uh, they can be uh, individual paintings, they can be an individual sculpture, not part of a sculpture set, but Padmasambhava himself has many different appearances, even as the, as the um, sort of tantric figure wearing the lotus hat, holding the, the Vajra in the right hand and the uh, skull cup and long life vase in the left with the Kadvanga staff against the left shoulder. Even this, there can be different appearances. He can be in Vajra posture. He can have his right leg extended. He can have the uh, he can hold the Vajra scepter in front of his heart, or he can extend it out to upraised to his right side. He can have it down across his knee. All of these have different names, and they come out of different uh, iconographic systems, usually based on different uh, um, tertons, treasure revealers. Now. Often Padmasambhava is displayed uh, also in long life paintings, and this can either be a single composition or multiple compositions. And then he's shown with his eight forms, the eight different manifestations. It is very common to see Padmasambhava surrounded by his 25 uh, closest disciples. We do have to remember that there are different systems of who are these 25 disciples. So we have to look at different uh, time periods and, again, different uh, uh, traditions uh, within Nyingma. Copper-colored mountain is a very popular theme. We have some variations in, in the, the design of the copper-colored mountain, depending whether it comes from Nyangro Nima Ozer or Guru Chowong or a later uh, Tertan master. Then we have refuge fields. We, we, have, we have several different refuge fields, depending, again, on the tradition, but the majority of, of uh, refuge fields uh, in the Nyingma uh, are actually of the Longchen Nintik. So they're all, um, they're really 19th century and 20th century productions. So that's Padmasambhava. Then we actually have the peaceful and wrathful deities. And for this, we, we sort of can, can uh, put two uh, subcategories together. We can put the Guyagarbha Tantra with the peaceful and wrathful, and we can put all the various bardo traditions, the, the traditions of the peaceful and wrathful deities related to the bardo, the between state, between death and rebirth. And we have quite a number of these types of paintings and murals. So those are the first two big categories. Then the third category is just sort of a, some miscellaneous iconographic programs. Uh, the first being the eight pronouncement uh, deities, the eight pronouncement heruka, uh, the kagye. And we have quite a number of um, sets of paintings <clears throat> that depict the eight heruka. And as secondary figures, it can be lineage teachers or protectors according to that specific sub-lineage of, of Nyingma. Then we have the Lama Gongdu. Lama Gongdu comes from Sangje Lingpa. So this is 14th century. And we, we have a few early works, but, but primarily we have later works from the uh, 18th and 19th century uh, coming out of, of East Tibet. Then we have the Longchen Nintik. Longchen Nintik is uh, from Jigme Lingpa, so we're looking at late 18th century. And uh, we have quite a number of different types of, of paintings and sculpture relating to deities and teachers of this specific uh, new revealed treasure system. 
So these are the really the main iconographic uh, themes. We do have many, many, many random paintings and sculpture of individual teachers, but we really do not have the a lot of uh, lineage painting sets or lineage sculpture sets. It's primarily the 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 deity figures and the um, the treasure collections, the bundles, the Guyagarba, the Bardo, the Kage, Lama Gondu. It's really, they're, they're quite bundled, um, but still the most important of all of these iconographic subjects and programs is Padmasambhava and everything related to him.